his commentary could start you guys. Uh, go ahead and I want you guys to check out the guy who creates my thumbnails. His name is uh, Scream for Mercy HD. I'm going to put a link in the description so you guys can check him out. Go ahead and stop by his channel tell him SK sent you. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy, Matty J, a.k.a. SK all day. What's happening out there, people? Uh, this is, I believe, episode number eight of How to Mob Every Map series. This is the map Underground, as you guys can already tell. And um, I wanted to switch it up for you guys. I know that my uh, game mode of choice is Domination, as you guys already know. But um, I wanted to switch it up a little bit because uh, not everybody plays Domination, so it's kind of difficult to tell you how to mow up a particular map just in one, uh, you know, in one game mode. So I decided to switch it up to Kill Confirmed, uh, which can kind of have, you know, almost like a team deathmatch feel to it. So I just want to talk to you guys a little bit about how I go about uh, playing this particular map. Um, I am using uh, my normal assault rifle class setup. Uh, this is a little bit of an older gameplay, but I'm running with a Scar L with suppressor extended mags, and uh, my loadout is pretty much the same as always. Uh, scavenger, hardline, stalker as my uh, my starting off perks, and then I uh, right in the specialist I have assassin, marksman, and recon. That's not my usual setup, but um, it actually, I mean, obviously it worked out <laughs> for my favor because I did attain the Moab kill streak. But um, on underground, you don't want to be too over aggressive you guys can see that I played I slow played the uh, the first part of the map uh, a little bit slower than what I uh, usually do you guys uh, used to see me rush and stuff like that but I usually don't really rush like balls out until I usually get my specialist bonus only just because you know I don't have uh, you know sit rep or anything like that so you know I had the potential of uh, you know getting hit by Marty dumb or um, tripping claymores and stuff like that and even though I have Stalker and the Claymore won't go off. Just hearing that sound will cause the enemies to turn back around and start aiming down the side at you. So I try to, you know, I try to wait until I at least get my specialist bonus before I start really rushing. As you guys can see, I'm starting to pick up the pace a little bit. But uh, tips for Underground. Um, the easiest way to do it, in my opinion, um, obviously, if you would, if you were to trap them in the Underground, that would be your best bet. That would be the easiest way to go about, uh, you know, attaining uh, the Moab for this particular map. But um, in this side, uh, these guys weren't too bright, <laughs> so uh, we actually try to keep them um, over uh, in the open area, or you can call it the Charlie flag, uh, for the majority of the match, just so they wouldn't have too much cover to hide behind. And, um, and you know, and I mean, these guys, I mean, I'm not going to lie, these guys weren't that good. I mean, you guys can see I dodged like probably like four or five close calls in this gameplay. That guy should have knifed me. I should have got killed by that guy in the back of the map. You know, so, you know, I want you guys to understand that in these gameplays, you know, I might not be playing the best people or anything like that, but, you know, do understand that, I mean, it's not like I just go and back out of lobbies when I see, you know, tough people or anything like that. That's not the way that I play. That's not the way, you know, saying that, that I game. Um, I pretty much stay in, in any type of lobby. The only time I back out of lobbies, uh, you guys have seen me in uh, in my live streams when people session join, you know, uh, multiple people session join and, you know, try to just be annoying, try to run blind eye assassin with FMG nines and stuff like that. And that kind of stuff gets annoying after a while. But, um, you know, other than that, I mean, you know, I really stay in pretty much all the lobbies that I get into. <laughs> And uh, sorry, some some popped up uh, popped up on TV. I'm watching TV too, but um, yeah. So um, another tip for underground is you don't want to go to the middle of the map. Um, for the most part, the reason why I say that is because there's a lot of different flank routes and there's a lot of different directions that they can come from if you are in the middle of the map. So what you what I would recommend is uh, try to place almost like almost like your back against the wall in a sense to where that they can only come from either one or two directions you know and make sure that you can cover those uh, certain directions you guys see I picked up the Moab right there but you want to make sure that you can cover those directions you know uh, in your in your peripheral and what I mean by that is if you look at the screen you want to be able to see uh, both positions uh, on the screen at all times because that just eliminates the possibility of people popping up behind you and possibly ending you on your uh, kill streak. And um, I've been reading a lot of the comments in, uh, in uh, you know, in a lot of the uh, the Moab Every Map series and stuff like that. And people will sit there and be like, you know, hey, Scrubs, man, you know, I always die on like a 20 kill streak, 21 kill streak. You know, what do I do? The way that I see it, you guys, is if you have a, you have to kind of gauge what your enemy is doing throughout the game. 
you know, from from start to about middle, you know, you want to gauge how they're playing, you know, what how you know what's their play style, you know, what it is that they're doing. Are they camping? Are they trying to rush? And then adjust. You always want to adjust your play style to that of your enemy, um, just because you know it'll make the Moab a lot easier to attain. Now, what I do is if I'm getting closer to the, the you know my Moab, and I kind of don't have a really good feel about what's going on, I always slow play. And what I mean by that is I'll always slow it down a little bit. You know, I won't go, you know, balls out rushing or anything like that. I'll slow my play down because by the time you hit 18, 19, it's going to it's gonna really piss you off if you die, you know, two to three off of your Moab. So if you get, once you hit about 18 and 19 kills, just kind of slow it down a little bit. Slow down your gameplay, slow down your game style, you know, kind of wait for the enemies to come to you, you know, and, and don't put yourself in any kind of bad situations that you feel that you can't get yourself out of. So I hope you guys did enjoy this gameplay. I hope you guys uh, do enjoy the, you know, the tips for this particular map. Uh, this was a uh, 20, it was oh, like a 28 and 1 or something like that, uh, kill wise. But hope you guys did enjoy the tips, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the series. It's your boy SK. I'm out of here, y'all. Peace.